Somber morning, folks. A few days ago, Italy had a damaging earthquake, and yesterday, we were discussing that the area may still be on alert. One of the areas that may not be out of the woods yet is Italy. Okay, a 5.8 yesterday was smaller than the damaging quake, and yes, we expect aftershocks. But a 5.8 really isn't an aftershock of a 6.1, and aftershocks usually hit the same place at a similar depth. Folks, the damage in Quake was shallow, and so are the foreshocks and aftershocks. The 5.8 was deep, off the location, and may be reason to keep an eye open a bit longer. Within just three hours, we had a new alert map up on Twitter, as we have been doing regularly. And this morning, we report a disaster. A much more powerful magnitude 6.6 .6 struck the region just four hours ago. There are already some injuries reported and lots of damage, including to the historic Basilica of St. Benedict, which has been completely destroyed. Hearts and minds are with you folks. Let's get back on the horse over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star held no Earth-facing solar flares. Shocking. There was indeed eruptive activity just over the limb on the north, at least two modest CMEs were produced there. And while the big, dark coronal hole patches are easy to pick out, it's the thinner, dark, rope-like filaments incoming to face Earth that we'll need to monitor for eruptive activity. Solar wind here, look in purple. The speed is well above average to be sure. We're still in the coronal hole stream. However, please recall that our shield performs relative to recent impacts, and we're getting over an even bigger one. Earth is puffed up, and there is only minor instability overnight, even though the stream is clearly quite intense. NASA has just released their version of a Samsung battery problem. They are slightly more costly when it happens on the NASA scale, especially when the robot is owned by DARPA. Whoops. Outstanding article out this morning discussing the merit of having a solar wind monitor at L5. Right now our primary solar wind satellites are at L1 which gives us about an hour's warning, but an L5 craft would give us days notice on coronal hole streams and would also be at 1 AU where the solar wind is most like it is at geospace. Quick note, website members, I am grinding on the final edits to our new book, so Deeper Look episodes will be sparse for about 10 days. We do have a new one for you from over the weekend, however, Billy lighting up some more earthquake energy testing. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.